Hey everyone, I am in a hotel room in Barcelona recording this because our THCA video drummed up a lot of questions. So we wanted to bring in an expert. Now, products marketed as THCA are really a new category that there's not a lot of information about. So I wanted to reach out to our good friend Riley and ask her what her thoughts are and get the real information from a PhD who knows, not just about what's being marketed, but also what is the actual deal with THCA? THCA is actually the version of THC that the cannabis plant is always making. And the plant is producing all of these different cannabinoids like THC, CBD, CBG. This right here is actually a THCA molecule. And what I'm spinning here, that is the acid form. This is a CO2 group. When you heat this up, this part of the molecule breaks apart and now you have your THC molecule. And this is the molecule that's actually binding to your brain and you know getting you high so you have this whole market of thca products all because the 2018 farm bill very specifically says any hemp products that have less than 0.3 percent thc are legal but the people writing those bills didn't understand that all of the flour you buy at a legal dispensary is thca flour so right when that farm bill was written all cannabis flower products essentially became legal, made a lot of people pay a lot more attention to THCA and changed the language that they use in promotional material and marketing to really focus on THCA. Yes, definitely there are high quality products out there that are lab tested and they're gonna be essentially the same level of quality that you would find at a dispensary. But something that consumers have to be aware of is that there's different testing standards for the THCA hemp market compared to the legal dispensary market. The only testing that's required in those markets is potency testing. Now that flower does not have to be tested for molds or pesticides or heavy metals. You really want to make sure if you are buying THCA products that you're buying them from a reputable company that is providing a certificate of analysis and doing their due diligence to do above and beyond testing beyond what they're required to do you know you really want to make sure that there's still high quality products that you're buying and you're not just buying them because it's the only thing accessible for you now with that being said not everybody is producing cannabis in an altruistic way you have to be aware that some people are spraying cannabis Cannabis. They take hemp flour and they'll spray it with THCA. And I would not recommend those products at all. After our series of stories on cannabis last week, well, we got some questions regarding Delta 8, 9, and 10. They are all hemp, but they all do different things. When you're talking about Delta 8 products, Delta 10 products, HHC products, K2, Spice, all of those synthetics are made in a laboratory and they're typically actually made from CBD as your starting material. You essentially add different levels of heat and acid and maybe some other reagents and that's going to transform CBD into these other psychoactive compounds like Delta 8 and these other similar compounds. I think the synthetics is where the most danger is with this 2018 farm bill and inherently there's nothing wrong with Delta 8 THC or Delta 10 THC or HHC. The issue is it is a relative unregulated market and these are synthetic compounds so unlike THCA or unlike plants that are like producing these molecules in a natural way when we're working with synthetic cannabinoids now we have byproducts of the synthesis making it into the final product now it's like more of a question of health and human safety whereas in my opinion the THCA realm of this is still very plant focused and it's still a lot healthier than promoting these synthetic compounds that are only here because we don't have access to the natural Natural product. I do not think any of these synthetic cannabinoid products would exist if we had access to the plant in every state. In my opinion, as far as increasing accessibility, for the first time, these people have access to hopefully quality cannabis products. And you don't need to feel like you're like purchasing a firearm, like it sometimes feels like when you walk into some of these dispensaries. It should be a fundamental right for us to have access to nature. I think every state should have, you know, access to this medicine. You know, especially people who might have mobility issues. They can get products shipped to their house. That's amazing. I don't really see any issues with this other than it's kind of scooping out some of the uh, legal operators that have worked really really hard and spent you know thousands if not millions of dollars getting to the point that they are it is a double-edged sword in a way 
really need to check where you're buying them from. Don't just Google THCA cannabis and buy the first thing. Like you definitely need to look for those COAs. Make sure it's not sprayed cannabis. Make sure it is a quality starting material and that there are, you know, good reviews. And I would look for the entire panel that you normally see with your flower dispensary. So that's gonna be definitely the residual solvents, pesticides, and heavy metals. Cannabis is a bioremediator. Depending on the soil that it's grown in, it can have different levels of these different compounds. So you wanna make sure that the flower is being tested for that. And a lot of people don't wanna know that much. They just wanna get high and I totally get that. But if you do wanna learn more, it's kind of this great opportunity to learn about the cool chemistry that the plants making and and how resilient the cannabis industry is because we will find those little details in the farm bill or whatever other bill and we will figure out how to make this medicine accessible one way or another we love having dr kirk on to deep dive into different subjects but what do you guys think is this information helpful to you do you feel like you're walking away learning more than you previously knew drop us a comment and let us know thank you guys so much for watching